is Kozi from the Tech Geek channel and today we have got our hands on the Crosshair CX430 PSU uh, so this is a 430 watt PSU so I'm gonna install it today let's open up the case This is the crosshair branding here. Uh, so this PSU has one 24 pin cable, uh, one ATX 12 volt cable, 8 pin, one PCIe cable, 6 pin and 8 pin, four SATA cables, three peripheral cable, and one floppy adapter. So here, uh, it's uh, it's a graph of the fan noise uh, so at 50% load fan noise is about 20 uh, and this is the efficiency chart okay so let's not waste more time let's open up this baby So this is the warranty guide, sorry that's the warranty card here, this is the user guide, uh, it's the power cable, uh, here are some screws here. Pretty nice packaging. So yeah, this is the PSU. Stay tuned to find out how I install it. Here we go. This is the PSU right here. So basically you have to open up all the wires connecting uh, coming up from the PSU uh, so now I'm going to show you one by one uh, this is the wire to the optical drive right here I'm gonna gently pull it so this is the wire to the optical drive uh, now this wire goes to the hard disk it's powering up the hard disk basically ok now this is the 12 this is a tw uh, 24 pin ATX cable and this cable is the 8 pin ATX 12 volt cable. Let's unplug this ATX 24 pin cable. And this is the 8 pin ATX 12 volt cable. There is a switch right here. This is the switch, you have to push it and pull it out. Now I'm going to open up, opening up the screws.
the PC is quite heavy. So this is the 24 pin ATX cable, which will be which we I will mount it in my CPU. This is the 8 pin ATX 12 volt cable. Uh, if your CPU has 4 pin ATX 12 volt cable, then you can split it into two, or you can do it like this and for the uh, 8 pin 12 volt. So this is the PCIe cable which you will connect it with your GFX card. GFX card. Mm. These are three peripheral cables and one for floppy adapter. And these are the four SATA cables. Insert the PSU like this and insert four screws here to fix the SMP, uh, to fix the PSU here. Uh, we are on lack of time, that's why I have not shown the screwing part. I hope you can do it by yourself. This is the 24 pin ATX cable. We are going to fix it here. This is the CPU 12 volt rail. Since uh, I have got a 4 pin, that's why. This is the PCIe cable. Since I don't have any graphics card, so it's of no use for me. Theta cable will go to the HD drive. Theta cable will go to the optical drive. Okay, so now my rig is ready. Let's insert back the flap. Mm, and let's test the PC now. Let's see if the PC boots up. What happened? Okay, the problem was that I forgot to turn on the UPS switch. Let's see if our hard work has come into play. Yep, that's the boot menu, it's working fine. So please like our video if it has been useful to you and give your and write your thoughts on the comment below and please subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you.